lots of sun, a fascinating landscape, African culture mixed with European influences, an appealing mixture for many travelers. North of Durban, a bike is making its debut, whose mnemonic GS has already become a legend, the BMW F800 GS. The test journalists are curious. The newbie from Bavaria is supposed to close the gap between the bestseller R1200 GS and the favorite one-cylinder series. <laughs> the guys curiously inspect the new ride. This is the first BMW that could affect even non-BMW compatibles. Motorbike globetrotter Astrid is also curious. I love motorbike journeys and have already ridden many thousands of kilometers on two wheels, and that's why you make certain demands on a bike. It has to be light but robust. It should be easy to load but also comfortable. This is, of course, something that is not too easy to achieve. Privately, I ride a KTM one-cylinder. For film travel, I have always ridden the big GS by BMW. Both bikes have their advantages and disadvantages. I'm really curious whether the new GS, the small GS, is really a good Compromise. Let's see how high that thing is. The 800 is no good for short legs, but Astrid has no problem touching the ground despite only being 172 meters tall. The nice thing about this bike, there are no nasty surprises. The handling is so easy, the entire riding characteristics are so trustworthy, there is always power. I like the parallel twin. It pushes ahead evenly, but still powerful. However, maybe the one thing that makes you grin from ear to ear inside the helmet is missing. But if you're really honest, you don't really need this on a long tour. BMW puts a lot of hope into the new GS. The Bavarians want to combine two motorbike worlds, the on- and off-road worlds. The parameters of the 800 are promising. Astrid is already in the middle of African culture with her GS. This small farmer's market has a fantastic atmosphere, and the people are curious and not afraid of touching. The GS is quickly the center of attention. The occasion is proudly and respectfully used to test sit on the bike. Astrid continues with her explorations, whilst the test journalists use the lunch break to talk shop. The new bike is accepted. The most impressive thing with modern injection motorbikes is when the injection mapping and the control times are adjusted well to each other, and this has really worked well here, because you get a very soft bike characteristic with partial load and in the lower speed range, which doesn't jump. Astrid is riding on lonely roads, no disturbances while analyzing the bike. What I don't like too much about the seating position is the high position of the handlebars, and because of that I think the angle of the knee position is a little bit too steep. It seems that you are sitting on the motorbike just as you would on a chopper, but maybe this is a question of preference. It's actually all relative when you ride standing up, but most of the time you do sit down. One detail that I really like is the generously apportioned steering angle, because you can really maneuver with it and turn around in the smallest places and narrow roads, which is really a great help. This also detracts from the weight a little bit because the 800 is, of course, much lighter than its big sister, the 1200. But I have to say that 207 kilos are not exactly light. I think the bike is still quite heavy. The tank underneath the seat is good for the center of gravity, but I'm a bit skeptical about it because what do I do if I need more than the available 16 liters of petrol? I can imagine that constructing a bigger tank could be very difficult and complex.
With the 800, BMW wanted to offer motorbike which is significantly better for off-road than the 1200, and they have surely managed to do that. The off-road characteristics are sufficient for the average long-distance traveler. I wouldn't go into heavy terrain with it, and I wouldn't ride this bike through the Sahara either, but there are many other beautiful destinations in this world for which the 800 could be ideal. Would I change over to it? Well, I don't know. I would have to try it, experiment with the 800, and then I could always think about it.